Hello and welcome to the All-in-One Theme. In this video I'm going to take you inside the All-in-One Theme and show you the first step in the configuration process and show you just how easy it really is to get started. So once you've actually activated your theme, the first step is configure, which is this step right here. And what we've done is we've made this really easy for you. Because one of the things you want to make sure you do is that you have your content split out into various categories. This is very good for SEO. Now if this is a an existing site that you're installing this on and it has content on it already I would skip this step this step is really meant for a very new fresh install of WordPress if you already have a site up and operating with traffic and content and so forth skip this step and you do that right here I want to be very clear you don't want us to go in and change all your settings and configuration options if you already have a site up and running with content and traffic. So if you have a site with content and traffic, I hope, hopefully I'm making myself clear, skip this step by going right here. Now if this is a new WordPress site, this is a site that you just installed that has no traffic, no content, it has nothing on it today, um, then you can use this step. Now if this is an existing site that is old, maybe the content on it is old and you don't care about any of the content or any of the tra none of that stuff, you're just wanting to start over, you can go ahead and continue with this step as well. But if you have a site that you have content on it and you're getting traffic at it and you don't want to mess with any of that, you're just trying to improve it, skip this step. Am I clear? So new site, ready to go, here we are. So the one thing we want to do is make sure we create categories. Since this is called FA questions, play on FAQ, then what we want to do is we'll just enter in and for the purposes here I'm you know I'm doing sample type of information here, but let's say we have a category for questions and let's say that we have uh, excuse me, let's say we have another one for answers. Maybe we have another one for um, you know, you can come up with a whole host of one, and I'll, I'll pause it for a second. I'll create some so you don't listen to me struggle through trying to create categories. Okay, I thought of a couple here. So let's do uh, how to best questions, best answers. Pretty simple. Now, if you're doing something on coffee as an example, you may make this on the various types of coffee that you're creating or if your site's about dogs a particular type of dog maybe it's about you know it's all how the content is going to be structured on your site so if you have a, a particular type of dog maybe you want to do it on the various categories on one on food one on care one on um, training you kind of get the idea so and then you would funnel content into each one of those categories so I, ho I hope that helps explain that section so then what we do is we're going to click on this button right here now watch what happens when I click this button. How was that? That was pretty cool, huh? What the what it just did, what the what the theme just did is it just went through all of the settings that you have on your WordPress site. Cuz you notice on the left-hand nav over here we have settings. We have general, we have writing, reading, discussion, media, privacy and permalinks. So what, what it just did is it went through these options and, and configured these to be more SEO friendly because one of the problems with, S, with WordPress is that out of the box it's not very pretty which we saw in another video and it's not very SEO friendly. So we have to come through here and tweak things and what all in one theme does is it makes that extremely easy. So it's, it's gone through each one of those options uh, and reconfigured those. And so one of the things that's very important as well is this permalinks option right here. So I'm going to open this and show you. Now you see how it's set to custom structure? This is how we set this up to operate. Now by default it comes like this, right? Questions, question mark, page equals or post equals one two three so that's not really what we want we wanted a custom structure so one of the things that the plugin did for you was odd and I'm just changing between tabs here was it automatically configured all of those options for you so it's very easy to you don't have to spend you would spend quite about quite a bit amount of time going through each one of these little settings the writing the reading the discussion the media now here's the deal if you have specific settings that you want you're always free to come back through here and change these and overwrite what we have set up for you what we've done is is we've set it up in a highly efficient highly SEO optimized format you can tweak and change this 
anytime you want, any way you want. And if you ever want to go back to our settings, then all you would do is go back to this configuration option and configure my site again, and it would put it all back to the way we want it. So I hope that explains a little bit about step one of the all-in-one theme. Make sure you check out our other videos where we take you through each individual step in the entire process. Uh, you'll see how quick and easy you can have a highly search engine optimized SEO friendly WordPress site that looks awesome. Look to see in the other videos.